Cheers. 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 We first had the idea when we were living in Whistler in Canada. So me and my wife founded the company. Uh, we were doing ski seasons over there and we wanted to start our own business. Came back to the UK, did proper jobs to begin with and then we were like, fuck it, let's try and like, we wanted to open a restaurant but we knew we couldn't get to a restaurant straight away so we started in street food. Both like absolutely love burgers. Uh, my parents are beef farmers, so I wanted to do something with beef. So we were like, let's let's try doing burgers. So we did a load of testing, like about six months. We did like burger parties every weekend, so all my mates would come round. We'd grind different cuts of meat, different styles of burgers. The inspiration of kind of how we designed our burgers was we wanted it to be all about the meat because parents being beef farmers. So everything in our burgers is quite pared back and everything's there just to make the meat shine. Double miso, an iteration from our Bone Dubbies collaboration. Miso sauce, burger, cheese, and a onion and bacon. That's I'm gonna it. cut into it. Yeah, for it. I like real hair back burgers, kind of OG burger. This is your OG. So beef, cheese, onion jam, bacon, garlic mayo. And then this bun is kind of the unsung hero as well. Our bakery does it um, bespoke for us. And you got that's brisket, so Hello. basically where a lot of this is in the um, the ramen lab. Aged beef, cheese, the 12 hour beer break brisket, pink pickled onions, garlic mayo, stephanie bump. Fuck yes! Happy days. Are we cutting because we're sharing or...? <laughs> I mean like swapping. I wasn't planning. <laughs> <planning. laughs> no, we always have that in the back of our mind. It's like we don't want anything to detract from the quality of the meat because that's like the shining star in the burger for us. We just wanted to do something that was kind of really balanced. So like the aging of the beef was really important to us. That is like kind of the, the starter of it all. I would say like five ingredients is max that you should have. Just um, uh, habanero honey mayo. Mm. Did your dad make beef? No, no. <laughs> you probably wanted to crush them. <laughs> but like even the fries, like we, um, if it's on our menu, we want to do it like properly, so we hand cut them, double cook them. We did a kebab ramen one. Oh uh, really? Which was killer. Insane. We had like triple, triple fried chips in this ramen. No way. It's like chips and gravy, isn't it? It was so good. Like, it, it worked so well because they stayed like crunchy. Have you got anything coming up? We, like we, the burgers on the menu are fairly kind of rigid, they don't change too much, but we're going to start doing kind of monthly or like every two or three months. Yeah. Okay. Occasionally I'll like walk into the restaurant and be like, oh fuck, we've got a restaurant now, which is like mind blowing sometimes. I think when we opened Brixton, that was our first proper restaurant because we started in street food, did that for about a year. Then we blagged our way into Box Park, which is kind of street food shipping container thing. And then when it was about a year and a half after that, we opened Brixton just before the pandemic, perfect timing. <laughs> So um, tell us about the precedent, the number one I had. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> sink got blocked. I went to the hardware shop just up there, yeah. put a load of uh, sink unblocker, and nothing was working, so I was like, oh, what else can I do? Went back up to the shop, and they had this, like, I think it's called Spirit of Salt or something. So poured that down, and as soon as I poured it in, it started, like, gas coming out of it, like, plumes of smoke. Yeah. And then I started getting, like, dizzy, and I was like, Oh fuck, I need to get out of here. Called Liz, I was like, Liz, I can't mix these two things together. Like, I'm like, I feel really like dizzy. She's like, right, what is it? Take a picture of the bottle. Um, and then she still got friends that work in, in the hospital. And they looked at it and they replied back saying, he's made chlorine gas, send him to get the fuck out of there. So I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank you. No one's. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I can't. Wait, shall I finish it? I've got to. I've got to spike you. Can't I, I had a cheese like... toastie like just before I got here. <laughs> 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 but I was a little bit hungover, so <laughs> I was like. <laughs>